how to start a group for self-worth in Christ. That is our topic today. It's very important everyone knows their worth in Christ Jesus. So please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. If you have a question, put it in the box. We'd love to hear from you. But this is going to be an exciting segment, so please watch it all the way through. Self-worth in Christ, that's our topic today. It's going to be really helpful because you could change lives. You know, we believe in you and your ministry. We believe you can change the world around where you live. Okay? Now, self-worth is a big thing. You know, we hear a lot about self-esteem and all that kind of those self-words. Now, in Christ Jesus, if our esteem is on ourself, it's going to constantly go up and down. You know, self-esteem isn't really going to help you if you are measuring yourself against other people. You're unique. You cannot be measured. It's not possible. Spiritually, emotionally, physically, sexually, financially, all the different ways. And that's not even including your spiritual gifts or your natural gifts. That's not including your family history. There's so much that's unique about you, your physical features. So when you get stuck in the trap of comparing yourself, you're in trouble. Now we have something that we've created called Worthy. It's a, it's a DVD series and a workbook and you work through that and it's really best, like what we're talking about today, is you start a Worthy group. Because it moves you from that vacillating, thinking about yourself, comparing yourself and coming up short or not being enough or focusing on the abuse or trauma that you've had or neglect you've had in your life or breaking up relationships, divorces, and you're constantly comparing how you failed in life. And it's hard to grow in that environment. And what Worthy does, especially in a group context, it gives you a path to understand your worth. Now, I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me personally that changed my life. Because my story, I was conceived in adultery. Okay, I was abandoned. I was put in foster homes. I was sexually abused. I was addicted to um, uh, sexuality, pornography, and alcohol, and drugs. And I get all of that. And I got radically saved at 19, came back to the Lord, and that was fantastic. And alcohol and drugs left instantly. Sex addiction stayed for a while. And I've been sober now for over 36 years. So I get the pain. But I remember when I was in Bible school, I went to Bible school shortly after getting radically saved at 19 years old. And I was having a conversation with Jesus about my story because I was in Bible school. And most of the kids there grew up in Christian homes and had pastors for dads and music ministers for moms. And they knew how to sing and they knew how to quote scripture. They knew the Bible. And I was really like, Jesus, if you've called me into some kind of ministry, why do I have this really crappy story and everyone else here seems to have a pretty good story. And I remember talking about that with him and saying, you know, no one ever in my life said I was worth anything. You know, I was rejected or pushed away by everybody. And Jesus really spoke to me really clearly and kind of in a, in a tone that was really kind of, you need to hear what I'm saying to you, son. And he said, you're worth my blood. You're worth my blood. You're worth me dying for. That is your worth. What anyone has said to you, what anyone has done to you, is not your value. Your value is me. Your value is my blood. That blood is your value. And in the Worthy Course, you really get to walk this out because when you realize that you're worth his blood because he says you're worth his blood. Your opinion doesn't matter. You don't have to judge yourself. 
You don't have to assess you against your family or friends or define success in the way in which you fail. You don't have to do that anymore because my value is permanently set. That's what's beautiful about when your self-esteem or your worth is based in God's value of you, which is his death and resurrection. That's his value of you versus anything. And it also keeps you humble because you're not you're not worth more because you accomplish. You know, I've been on shows like Oprah, Dr. Phil, Good Morning America, I've had a movie made. None of that is my worth because Christ established my worth way back when I was 19, that I'm worth the blood. No matter what I do, no matter what I don't do, I am worth the blood. Okay, whatever sins I have committed or will commit, it, I am worth the blood. The blood makes me worthy. And when you get that in your heart of hearts, you want to let other people know. And in every church, you could start a worthy group. Sometimes it's men only, sometimes it's women only, but start a gender group in which you can do the series. And do you need to be qualified? Absolutely not. Do you need a seminary degree? Absolutely not. Do you need to have, know how to read? Yes. Do you need to know how to push play or push play on a download? Yes, that would be really helpful. But if you can push play and read and just open your home, you don't need to go through some process to minister. Just get a few people and say, hey, I'm doing this class in my home and invite them in. Okay, if you wanna do it in a bigger way in your church, you have to talk to your church leadership and, and make sure that they're on board with it. But it's totally biblical based. It's totally you getting in your spirit that you are worth the blood of Christ because he said so. And we love getting pictures from groups of, of people that have done the worthy group and they're smiling and they're saying, it's changed my life. It was so wonderful, Dr. Weiss, thank you. I now know that I am a son or, or daughter of God, that I, can, I am worth love and that I am loved. And, and when you find that you're worthy, you act differently. When you're worth less, you, you, know, you, you either overcompensate and try to volunteer for everything, or you do nothing and you don't try anything, you don't take any risk. When you're worthy, your life can stay in balance and you can still do ministry, you can still reach out, you can still grow when you want to. You know, that is walking in the spirit. It's the spirit of agreement. When you agree with God, you are walking in the spirit. And if you're saying, oh, I'm not worth anything and I'm worthless and I'm stupid and I can't do anything and blah, blah, blah. You're not walking in agreement with the spirit of God. Those are lies. But when you go through the, go through the process and get this, get, get worthy and, and do it, you can do it yourself if you want to, but I'm really, this is about starting a group. So get, get it started, meet once a week. You can do it on social media. Get 50 of your social media friends say, hey, I'm gonna do this. And there's a way of doing that. You can show a clip and have them buy the workbooks and they talk about the workbooks, you know, through the, through the social media forum. This is doable and you can do it and you can change people's lives. You can do ministry and really strongly encourage you do worthy. It is life changing and you can start a group so that you can help others heal locally are really all over the globe. If you just open up your Facebook profile and say, hey, I'm doing this, you can do ministry. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Now there's a box below for questions. You can put them in there. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. But please know your worth and know that you can help other people know their worth in Christ Jesus.